So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So in a few hours, the Kisuna starts, and it's going to be the final event of Roll Cruise. And I've seen a lot of people already asking about the so-called three-star strat for Kisuna. So I'm just going to quickly recap it here. Because if you want to rank very high, you're going to want to use the three star strat. Uh, one thing I want to note though is that if you don't have a lot of potions, there's no reason to do this. You want to ha be using at least like 40 potions for it to make a difference. And if you want to rank really, really high in World Cruise, it's not even worth attempting it unless you have around 100 potions or more. Personally, I have 160 potions and I am ready to use all of it. As a side note, I used a bit over 100 potions for the last Super Boss Kisun as a bit of a practice, and I was very close to get to 1000 allos with that. So, for this World Cruise, several people on Global will get over 1000 nav levels, which sounds insane, but yeah, not really when you use the 3 star strat. So, yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, yeah, this is the only way to get to the Kisna Clash team builder before it starts. And yeah, right away, let's just <laughs> be clear. Yeah, I do have Tober open now. Uh, I ended up doing a few more and got them. Like, it's you're not really important for the three star strat. But I'll use them as captain in the beginning because, in the beginning, you can literally beat every stage one, every stage two with just a damage special. So, Sorrow, very good for that. And then final stage for a long time, Roger is going to clear it for at least like 100 levels or something. Then for a bit I can use Roger and Whitebeard. And then after that, we want other means of damage. Because the way 3 star strat works is that you start at a very low HP and the HP goes up very slowly. But eventually it does hit the max cap, same as 10 star, same as super boss which is 15 star. And this is 999 billion, and the way Kisna works is that it doesn't matter if you do 999 billion to 3 star, or to 10 star, or 15 star, everything gives the same points. So you might think like, who cares then, why do 3 star? But the thing is that 3 star has basically no mechanics at all. And not only that, they give every single unit minus 15 seed reductions, you can use anything you want, without stalling, so... It's basically what a lot of people want Superboss to be, just a blank canvas where you build the biggest damage and go ham. Instead, Superboss has become one of the most <laughs> uh, hard to build content in the game. Uh, they basically make Toast their own Grand Voyage in terms, of, in terms of team building. And if you've been wondering why they do that, it's basically just because we, do, we have too many buffs to stack nowadays. It's too easy for too many people to hit that 909 billion. So, yeah. And once I hit the damage cap with this team, it's time to swap it up. I've just built this for now. Like Kaido, pretty good together with Toberoppo. So this will last maybe another 100 levels. But then eventually you will start getting into the hundreds and billions. And it goes pretty quickly by then. So at that point, I might just move on to a 909 billion team, because you want that for each color in the end, a team that can hit the max damage consistently. And for the last Super Boss, I struggle a bit with that. Like, I didn't have a problem with two of the colors, but the versus Dex variant, where you had to use a strength team, that was a bit annoying for me, and it was a bit RNG. But then at the end of the last three star, uh, Stump released a team that supposedly is a one for all. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really looked at the team in action then and now. But yeah, I'm going to try it during this Kisuna because like one team for all. Very chill, like even if the team is a bit slow, you can build that muscle memory. And in the end, you don't have to think too much while playing, which suits me pretty well. And that team looks kind of like this i try to copy it and i change the porch a bit to reflect the current three star mechanics like we have a stage for example with five turn damage reduction just 30 percent but 
it has to be removed as far as I can see. So the Mr. One support on Robin will be nice for that. F remaining support, just use any of the killer supports on Kid Law. There's quite a few that can help remove that. Uh, cat dog probably not needed. There's a stage with barrier, but it's just one perfect, so can probably easily skip that. Uh, big mom support, just some extra damage from Kaido's conditional. Uh, gear 5 with Sabo, going to hit really hard. Sorosan is friend captain. I have my own rainbow, so I don't even have to find someone else's. So I'm going to be able to spam runs incredibly easy. And yeah, another thing to consider is that uh, since 3 star ends up doing the same as 10 star or 15 star, you don't really need to care about super bosses. Usually I do it because, well, to be nice to my teammates who don't go that hard in solo and rely on super boss, and also because it's uh, also fun to build for super boss. But for this uh, Kisuna, I will not do any super boss until I've run out of potions. Maybe some exception, like if I fail a run and someone's going to do it. But at the same time, like uh, I might as well just uh, could just throw a game or something. Like it's not a big difference either. So, yeah, I don't think I'll do any super boss until I've done my 160 potions. Uh, there's also a chance... Wow, my capture card really acted up there. There's also a chance that I deem it unreasonable to spend more potions because I've ca it looks like I've secured my ranking, so I also need to keep track of that. So yeah, for this super boss, you definitely want to keep track of how other people are doing, how it looks like you'll end up, what rank you re really need to go for. Do you need to go for top 10 in Kisuna, or does top 50 work for your goals? That's also a very important factor to decide. But yeah, I'm ready to go to zero potions and then build it up. Like after this Kisuna, I'm taking a long grind break. Like it's not going to be like I never go hard in anything. Like I'll probably do my usual PvP rankings and I do my PKA. And I'll play a bit of treasure map, but yeah, nothing going for any special good rank or anything. And one thing I really want to do this summer, because summer is approaching fast, is I really want to farm uh, Hemes level up materials, because they are really low. So this summer I need to make sure I don't end up doing other stuff, like sure I'll do my videos and such, but I really, really need to... Uh, max out my Hemus basically so I can level up everything I want. But yeah, also this is just the first clear there. Used to use buggy before but you need to do one clear on that assist quest so I'll use this for that. But yeah, this is my first team, going to wave clear and then I'll upgrade as we go on. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.